IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our 15th episode of our second semester. I'm Julian Lambert. And I'm Griffin Wanker. So Julian, are you ready for all the senior end of year events? Yep. Although I'll be sad to be leaving the building for good. I'm going to miss all the teachers and my peers. How about you? No. Well, I'm ready to get this show going. Let's get into it. As you all know, this week has been Teacher Appreciation Week, and our teachers have been treated to different treats and activities throughout the week. Our teachers are the absolute best, and we at Braves Beat want to thank each and every one of you. You've got that right, Julianne. I have been so fortunate to have been taught and coached by some of the best educators in the land. Thanks to all of you. This past Wednesday was Cinco de Mayo, which is Spanish for 5th of May. It is an annual celebration in Mexico on May 5th. This date is observed to commemorate the Mexican Army's victory over the French Empire at the Battle of Puebla on May 5, 1862. The date has become associated with the celebration of Mexican-American culture. These celebrations began in California, where they have been observed annually since 1863. Now, let's toss it over to our sports report, Dougie Mateo. Hello, Braves. We hope you like our new sports set. I'm Dougie Zhang. And I'm Mateo Lopez. I think this new set is pretty neat. Well, let's get on with this sports news for the week. First up is baseball. The boys had a weird schedule last week. Their game against Finneytown last Monday was rained out in the fifth inning. However, the Braves were up seven to nothing. They played a double header last Wednesday against Finneytown at home. They finished their first game winning 10 to nothing. The second game, they won 19 to one. Luke Hammond hit a home run and Matthew Kopfer went two for three with a triple, earning himself a nomination for the Cincinnati Enquirer Small School Baseball Player of the Week. Congratulations, Matt. They then played Wyoming at home and lost nine to seven in a very entertaining game. Luke Hammond hit a grand slam in this game. They take on Wyoming again Wednesday, May 5th. The baseball senior day is Friday, May 7th against Franklin. Please come out and support our seniors, Scott, Luke, Leo, Luke, Jake, Harris, Matt, Zach, and Dougie. Our boys track and field teams competed in the Taylor Invitational last Wednesday and placed fourth overall. Top finishers were the boys 3200 relay team, Will Ford, Charlie Johnson, Jonah Waltz, and Coleman Worsler, second place. Jonah Waltz was second in the 1600 meter race. Luke Folke was second in the 400 meter run. Coleman Worsler, second in the 800 meter run. Liam Morris, second in the 3200 meter run. Third place finishes for Dylan Holler and Thompson in discus and Bowie Irvine in the pole vault. Congratulations to our boys track and field team. Our Indian Hill boys lacrosse team lost a tough game at Marymount last Friday, 12 to 10. Great effort by our battling Braves. They play at CHCA this Friday and at Milford on Saturday. Good luck, boys. And our Indian Hill girls lacrosse team hasn't played a game since last week, but they play at home this Thursday versus Mount Notre Dame. This game will be live streamed on the IHTM1 YouTube channel. Come out to the game or watch it on IHTN. The girls also play this Saturday at home versus Kentucky Country Day at noon at Shawnee Field. Good luck, ladies. Moving over to girls softball. Our Lady Braves lost a tough game to Wyoming this past Monday. Keep fighting, ladies. Our Greater Cincinnati number one rated boys tennis team won five to nothing over Covcath last Wednesday. Then, they lost a close match to Division I St. Xavier on this Tuesday, 2-3. The tournament season is coming soon, so good luck to all of our brave athletes. Well, that's all the sports news we have for this week. Let's toss it back to you at the news desk. Thanks, guys. What a fantastic sports set. Just like Sports Center. Very cool. Within the class of 2021, there are five students who have each dedicated four years of study to the field of engineering through Indian Hill High School's nationally recognized engineering program offered in partnership with Great Oaks. I'm Jenna Bennett and I will be studying chemical engineering at Rose Holman. I'm Nick Woods and I'm going to be doing biomedical engineering at Purdue. I'm Simon Lococo and I'll be doing biomedical engineering at OSU. I'm Dan Edmondson and I will be doing uh, biology and pre-dental at the University of Wisconsin. I'm Kevin Lewis and I'll be studying computer science at THE Ohio State University. Good luck to all these amazing engineering students. 
Recently, Indian Hill High School held our virtual Nationals Honor Society ceremony, which included teacher and senior awards as well as the induction of incoming juniors and seniors. Students elected in the NHS possess the qualities of scholarship, leadership, character, and service. So without further ado, here are our new NHS inductees. Congrats to all those Braves. We are also excited to honor Mr. Dubs as the honorary teacher inducted into NHS. Mr. Dubs has always documented our school events without complaint, and he's been such a helpful part to our community. Thank you, Mr. Dubs. Seniors were also presented with awards for scholarship, leadership, character, and service. This fall, students received the awards, and that's Amitash Verma for scholarship, Sophie Sawyer for leadership, Emily Sitchell for character and Vonito Rostogi for service. Finally, we want to welcome our officers for the 2021 and 2022 school year. For our president, we have Sanibel Betts. For our vice president, we have Maggie Shoney. For our secretary, we have Annie Isferding. And finally, for our treasurer, we have Annie Joy. Congratulations, Braves. We know you will all do great. The TSA Club will be opening signups as soon as the last week of May to register for next year's season. Please go to the link in the description to learn more about the events and the club. For more information, contact Kunal Ranjan at kunal.ranjan23 at ahs.us or Michael Pergalski at michael.pergalski at ihsd.us. We are excited to show you guys new features of our very own cafeteria. Hi, my name is Steve Schlim. I am the Food Service Director for Aramark here at Indian Hill. We've been working very hard recently, all year more or less, to really up our game here in dining services for your dining pleasure for all the students. What we've done recently here at the high school, we've tried to make it more of an open campus feel. And this week we really got things rolling. We have unveiled a fresh made-to-order deli with quite a bit of options for you, including things like pretzel bread and ciabatta bread and fresh croissants. We have converted our pizza station to a by the slice pizza, jumbo 16-inch pizzas that every day we freshly bake from a new pizza oven that you can see being made. We have also introduced a chef-attended action station so that our entrees are customizable and visual and you can see them being made right in front of your eyes. We brought a chef on board as part of our team. His name is John Chu. He is preparing those items and making them uh, from scratch every day. The grill is now assembled for you to order. We're no longer wrapping sandwiches and foil and having them ready for you to grab. We're assembling them as you order them so they're fresh and we offer big chocolate chip cookies and the way we're presenting them is they stay warm from the oven. And the last thing I'd like to touch on is had a great meeting recently uh, with Principal Damadeo and he passed along some great feedback he's received from the students. I'm available uh, every day in the cafe should anybody want to stop by and give me your thoughts and just let me know what you think of how we're doing. Um, but other than that I just thank you for your time and Look forward to seeing you in the, in the cafe. Along with those new features, we are excited to introduce Nutrislice. It's a great web-based tool that provides a wealth of information regarding what we are serving at our schools. This includes menu information, ingredients, nutrition, and allergens. There is also a filtering option that allows you to seek out items to your specific needs. Don't forget, juniors, ticket sales for prom for you guys opened on Tuesday, May 4th on EasyPay. 
There are currently 70 spots available, and if you plan on going with a date, purchase those tickets together to ensure that you both will be attending. There will be a cutoff at 180 guests. Tickets will be filled on a first come, first serve basis. If capacity is exceeded, you will be contacted and refunded your money. And the 2021 school year Shine and Dine Prom will be held on May 15th at the Kenwood Country Club from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And after prom, which is mandatory, will follow at Indian Hill High School from 10.30 p.m. to 1 a.m. Please keep in mind these rules no guests outside of Indian Hill High School will be allowed. There will be eight people seated per table, and signups will happen the week before prom. Kenwood Country Club and Ohio Department of Health protocols will be followed, and tickets will be $65 and will cover the cost of both prom and after prom. Sales are available through Easy Pay. So, Griff, do you have a date for prom? For sure. How about you? Sadly, since my boyfriend goes to another school, I couldn't invite him. But I was happy to invite one of my friends here at our high school to enjoy the event with me. Well, that's all the news that we have for this week. Before we go, I want to say thank you to all that helped make Issue 7 successful at the ballot box this past Tuesday. Thanks to the school board, administration, teachers, and community members for supporting our students. Our schools will now move forward with the approval of our community. Thanks again, voters. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy in your hill. hill. Hello, everybody. My name is Dylan Condor. It's the show again. Um, the guest we had on flaked last second. So we have some random people on today. So um, let's welcome him on. Izia Langila Cola. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, there's a mic right there. Clip it onto your collar. Okay. Okay. All right, so have you done anything, like, influential in the school? Have I done anything influential in the school? Um, well, you know Dart Wars? Dart Wars, no. Dart Wars? You don't know what Dart Wars is? No. Really? No. I can't tell if this is a bit. Anyways, I shot Cooper Weiler, feeling kind of accomplished about that one, feeling kind okay. of cool, yeah. Alright, have you done anything like, like anything that you'd be proud of to put on like a resume? Like are you like a president of something? Oh, yeah. I am currently the junior vice president and next year I will be the student body president. Oh, uh... Nah, this question sucks. I just actually took my first few steps uh, just last week. Just last week? Yeah. So that was your time walking over here? Oh, it was it was a little rough. The backpack kind of weighed me down, but you know, I'm getting better one step at a time. Wow, all right. You know, I am a master at my craft. 